Excuse me? Are you Karen Walker? Why? Did her stepson sit on you? <laughs> no. Did her driver accidentally run you over? No. Are you an employee at one of her husband's textile factories in Jakarta? <laughs> no. I'm Karen Walker. How can I help you? Um, well, I went to your house because that's the last address I had. I'm looking for Jack McFarland. Why, does he owe you money? <laughs> no. Did he steal some of your jokes for his cabaret act? <laughs> no. You missing a scooter you probably weren't using anyway? <laughs> no. Hi, I'm Jack McFarland. <laughs> you are? Wow. I mean, hi. I'm Elliot. Well, what can we do for you, little man? Oh, uh, well, 13 years ago, did you donate your um, stuff to a stuff bank called the New York Family Clinic? Let's see. I think I did have an account at that bank. <laughs> well, my mom was a nurse there, and she wanted a baby real bad, so she took your donation. Um, I'm your son. <laughs> Look, my mind is made up. I don't want to see that kid, OK? All right. But I've got a small man in the back who's ready to give you a red chinchilla warm-up suit. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on out, sir. Hey, she did it again. Uh, <laughs> all right, now get in there. You two are going to stay in here until you work something out. Mr. McFarland, I didn't mean to freak you out. I just wanted to meet you. Yeah, well, we don't need to meet, OK? Because I'm not your father. But you are. My mom still has your file. It says that you were a ballet dancer and model who enjoys long walks on the beach. <gasps> That's not me. <laughs> and it says that you were part of a performing group called Jack and the Beanstalk. That was a solo act! <laughs> Listen. Elliot, I can't do this with you, okay? I mean, a kid just does not fit into my E! True Hollywood story. But I don't want anything from you. I just thought every once in a while we could, I don't know, hang out or something. Maybe throw a ball or watch hockey or see a Jackie Chan movie. Dear God, what has not having a father done to you? <laughs> so what do you think? Yeah, I... Listen, Elliot, I'm sorry, but... It's okay. It doesn't matter. I mean, what do you care? You don't know what it's like not to know your father. Actually, I do. I didn't know my father either. Really? Yeah, my dad was some anonymous stranger in a Nixon mask who did my mom at a pool party. Who's Nixon? I don't know. <laughs> Didn't you ever wonder who your dad was and if he was like you? Yeah, I used to. For a while, you know, every drop-dead gorgeous guy I'd see, I'd yell, Daddy, and see if they turn around. <laughs> I used to pretend my dad was Spider-Man. Oh God, you must be psychic, because I've been known to scale tall buildings to get out of sticky situations. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've met you. I guess I should go. Yeah. Hey, um, you know, if you're not in a hurry, you maybe want to go grab a burger or something? Yeah, I guess. You buying? <laughs> I was just going to ask you the same thing. <laughs> hey, it gets pretty chilly out there, so. So where are you from? I'm from Queens. Yes, you are, but we'll talk about that when you're older. <laughs> Jack, pajama party position, please demonstrate. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no heterosexual man has ever sat this way. <laughs> if a sitting position could have a lisp, it would be that one. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I mean, I can't give you any money. I don't support arts and music in schools. I don't need the competition. Oh. I'm looking for Jack McFarland. I'm Jack McFarland. You have a son named Elliot, right? Technically, although, like my friend Will and his hair, we had a falling out years ago. <laughs> Why do you ask? I found some of the letters you wrote him, and 
Since I'm in New York with my parents, I wanted to meet you. I'm sorry, who exactly are you? Oh, I'm Elliot's son, Skip. One more time, dear, I'm a trifle deep in my upstage here. <laughs> I'm your grandson! <laughs> Can I call you Grandpa? Oh my God, you have to. <laughs> this is your chance to patch things up. Elliot and his wife are coming over. Your grandson is in there. Go talk to him. How am I supposed to connect with a kid from Texas? I can't fish or hunt or tell a woman what to do with her fetus. <laughs> so, skip. <laughs> Are you having fun in New York? Yeah, I love it! Would you excuse us just for a second? Don't get too excited, we can't know for sure. Really, the pajama party position? Is that not enough evidence to convict misdemeanor over there? Take it easy, we are not doing an episode of Law and Order LGBTQ. Don't mind me, boys, I forgot my Birkin. Close your mouth, kid. You're gonna catch a fly. Jessie Tyler Ferguson, she is fabulous. For Halloween last year, I went as my favorite singer, Lady Gaga. Do you guys know who she is? Know who she is? <laughs> Excuse me, I sewed my own meat dress. Okay. I went as Lady Gaga last Halloween. And the one before that, and the one before that. And, and sometimes, not Halloween. So, Skip, you didn't mention why you and your parents are here in New York. I'm going to a camp upstate somewhere. <gasps> the best theater camps are upstate. French Woods, Stage Door. Let me go to my apartment and get some props for you to take with you. Oh my God, this is so much fun, I can't believe this. How old is my grandpa? He is in his early 100s. <laughs> I wish I could stay. I know, me too. Maybe we should uh, get skipped to the elevator. Huh? Okay, yeah. Hey, what's the name of that camp so I can write you? Camp Straight and Arrow. Oh. Straight and Arrow? Is that a new theater camp? I never heard of it. No, it's a camp my parents found to fix me. Fix you? So I can be normal. Bye. This place can't fix you because you're not broken. I'm confused. Of course you're confused. So, let me tell you a story about another young man who was once confused. A young man who grew up to be a model citizen and today is proud of who and what he is. People adore this man. <laughs> Not only because of his good looks and dynamic personality, but because of his open, loving heart. Will? No, not Will! <laughs> that guy make an impression on everyone? <laughs> I'm talking about me. It was hard for me once, too. But believe me, it gets better. I don't see how. Oh, Skip, you are going to be invited to so many good dinner parties. <laughs> and there's something else. When you get older, you'll understand that there's the family you were born into and the family that you choose. And the family I chose well, it doesn't get any better than that. But what do I do now? I don't know. Your hero, Will, didn't really think this through. <laughs> You're just gonna have to be really strong. It's hard being me sometimes. I know, but I'm gonna be there for you as much as I can. And when I'm not, I want you to picture me in your head looking at you like I am right now and saying you are exactly who you're supposed to be. I spoke to Skip and he told me what you said. Then I looked around and I saw the camp for the first time through his eyes. It made me sick. I had to get him out of there. Thank God. And then in the car on the way back to the city, Emma and I got into a pretty big fight and she said, do you really want Skip to end up like Jack? 
And I said, you mean someone who would drop everything to help someone he cares for live their truth? Yeah, I do. Anyway, um, Emma let Skip leave the camp. So, I guess that's the first step. Jack, I, I know we haven't been close over the last few years, but you really do mean a lot to me. You're my dad. That means so much. But in public, you're my brother. 